I think we've got something pretty interesting to talk about today, and that's planning your gun collection. And this is something that, it's not bad to rethink this every now and then, just if you already have a collection. And if you're just getting into firearms, this is something, you know, it's good to keep in mind going forward as you add more firearms. And you're probably going to add some more firearms at some point. And hey, with all the craziness this year, you know, it's, it's something you might want to keep in mind. And what got me to thinking about this personally, there was a comment not long ago asking about, you know, they were just interested in my collection. Well, I didn't see much point in talking about my collection because I mean, most of my firearms have been in one video or another at this point. So this, I didn't see a lot to talk about there. But it did get me to start thinking about my collection. And then I bought a new gun safe yesterday. <laughs> well, hey, there's nothing to you know make you stop and think about your collection like having to you know, get rid of your gun cabinet, put a new safe in, swapping everything over. Matter of fact, there's still a mess in the house right now, and Mrs. River is not exactly ecstatic with the state of things. <laughs> We're getting there. Anyway, I really hadn't thought about my collection in the past because truthfully, I, I try to avoid thinking about it. For me, just... The thought of having a gun collection, it causes problems for me just because I've got so many conflicting beliefs here. All right, for, for example, um, I've always believed that a hunter, you, you're better off with one rifle. All right, well, when you've only got one rifle, you tend to get really good with that one rifle. And this goes for any shooting sport, personal defense, anything. If you've got one handgun, you're probably going to get really good with that one handgun. If you've got one target rifle, you're going to really get to know that rifle. So, hunting. You're going to be a better hunter if you only have one rifle. Because the better you are with your rifle, the better a hunter you're going to be. Right, so that's my, always my belief on that. I still believe that. And this that kind of goes with my thoughts on minimalism too. And for those of you that don't know about minimalism, which I've talked about it before, but minimalism's not about going without. Minimalism's just about being conscious of what you have and just how much you have and valuing the things you have and then get, getting rid of the things you don't value. Well, when you only have one rifle or one pistol or whatever, one shotgun, when you only have one, you tend to really value it. But then as you add more firearms to your collection, with each new firearm, you're going to value the ones you already have less and less. I guess that's just human nature. But with all that said, I really enjoy firearms. I always have. I enjoy learning about them. I enjoy the history behind them, the engineering, shooting them, setting them up, getting the most out of one. So, you know, I tend to want to get new ones just for the experience of learning about it and so on, and my appreciation for the history and so forth. So I've got some conflicting emotions when it comes to firearms and collections. Well, I've been thinking about this over the last couple of days, and I think I've finally come up with a way to think about this to kind of resolve my internal conflicts on this subject. And it's something that I think y'all will find really interesting, and it might help you out with planning your gun collection. Okay, and, and here's the thing I realized. For those of us that, that use our firearms, hunting or any of the shooting sports, personal defense, home defense, whatever. For those of us that are using our firearms, we don't have a collection. We have a set. Okay, so 
what is a set versus a collection. Okay, collection. There's no defined rules to a collection. It can be anything. But for a set, there's a defined logic to it, and there are no duplicates. Okay, a set of wrenches. You know, you've got a sequence there of different sizes. There's no duplicates. And mechanics, they don't use collections, they use sets. They use a set of wrenches. They use a mechanics tool set. Well, same way for woodworkers. Okay, I have a set of chisels here. And there's a logical sequence to the different sizes. There's no duplicates. And if this were all half-inch chisels, half-inch wide chisels, this would no longer be a set of chisels, it would be a collection of half-inch chisels. Okay. And this goes back to, we don't use collections, we use sets. I think where a lot of confusion has come in on this is, a lot of us, we have both. We have a set and a collection. Okay, so your family heirlooms, or a firearm that just has sentimental value for whatever reason. Um, you know, maybe you got a, a rifle or pistol, you just like it. You don't ever use it, but you just like it. Okay, that's your collection. And then the firearms that you actually use, your working guns, your tools for putting food on the table, you know, keeping foxes out of the chicken coop, uh, crows out of the garden, our personal home defense, punching holes in paper, or breaking clay pigeons. All right, that's your set, and they're two different things. And for me, I really haven't decided exactly what my set should look like. What tools do I need for the things I do? And right now, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking for me, my set would have a, a good shotgun for uh, dove hunting and turkey hunting, and just you know, home defense, general purpose, and, you know, a shotgun. You can use it for just about anything. A uh, 22 long rifle for a small game, squirrel, rabbit, whatever. A uh, short to intermediate range deer rifle, and then a long range deer rifle. A uh, target rifle just for the range, and possibly personal defense or whatever a long range target rifle, and then a handgun. Okay, I think seven firearms there would, you know, more than be adequate for anything I want to do. All right. And, you know, I hadn't really thought this completely through yet, but, um, you know, once I do, this could change. Which, hey, life changes. We change. Everything changes. And I might add a target pistol, you know, to my set one day if I start shooting handguns again like I did in the past. But for right now, I think those seven would be more than sufficient. And, you know, there's a lot to think about here with that, but I definitely see the benefits to it. Okay, it would force me to focus on making sure those seven were ready to be used. And for those of you that like tinkering with firearms and reloading and such, you know what I'm talking about. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, it is so easy to get caught in setting up a rifle that you know, deer season gets here and it's not ready, but you were so busy setting that up that your rifle that you know was already set up you didn't check the scope or you didn't load up new rounds for it or whatever. Again, you're, you were busy trying to set up the other one. You didn't get it done. You can run into that. Not that I ever have. <laughs> this year anyway. But um, only having seven just simplifies that. So I've got seven firearms that are ready to use at any time. Okay, and this is also getting, getting into something else. Okay, because I've always enjoyed setting up firearms and do it pretty regularly, 
I try to limit my expenses on that. I mean, you have to. You know, there has to be a limit. But if, for instance, deer rifles. If I've only got two deer rifles, I see it. Well, I can, you know, splurge a little bit more on those two rifles. And this is getting back into something else that's really important to me. Quality versus quantity. Again, I, I really hadn't thought this through as far as what my set should be, but I'm, I'm really seeing the benefits here. And I hope you understand what I'm talking about. For instance, on my long-range target rifle and long-range hunting rifle, maybe they should be the same rifle. Right, there's definitely some benefits to that because if I had one rifle for both, then... I'm probably going to be really good with that rifle when I do go hunting. At the same time, I, I really like for my hunting rifles to be lighter than my target rifles. You, you don't have to tow the target rifle around all day, but you do a hunting rifle. But, hey, maybe I have them in the, chambered in the same cartridge and very similar loads, same velocities. That way I've got the same trajectories and I could see that being a big benefit right there as far as helping in the field hunting. I'm just more familiar with that cartridge and trajectory and so forth. So there's a, there's a lot to think about there. And we're going to talk about this some more in the future. It's just something I thought some of you just might enjoy this. And we're also going to talk about the other side of the coin here in the future, the actual collecting. Because that's important too, and at least to me. But this is going to help me keep things in perspective. Okay, these firearms are for collecting. All right, these are not my tools for putting food on the table. All right, these few here are my tools. And again, thinking about it like this, I, Things change, and we need to change with them. The tools we use and need, that needs to change. And what your ideal set would look like, well, who can say? I mean, there's just so many variables out there. We live in different countries, you know, different states within like the U.S. We've got different laws and regulations. We're hunting for different game. We're participating in different shooting sports. So. You know, what your set of tools would look like, you know, that's entirely different for me. But I think that's really beneficial to think of them as a set of tools. What tools do I need? And then, okay, yeah, I really like this gun over here just because I like it for whatever reason. It's part of my collection. Okay, you know, it's going to help me keep things in perspective anyway. At least I hope so. <laughs> One thing about it, I can no longer use hunting to justify purchasing whatever rifle if that spot in my set's already filled. All right. And maybe I get a rifle and I try it out and set it up and so forth to see if I would be better off with this, you know, in my set and replace whatever was there. I don't know, but again, I, I really think that's that is helpful to just differentiate between your collection and your set. All right, hey, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you want to see what we're into next week or talk about this some more in the future, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. God bless and have a good day.